Hello, After Buzzers, and welcome to Spotlight On. I have the amazing Lily Caradanian here with me in studio, so don't go anywhere. We will be right back. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Yay! I'm your host, Louisa Sharamatian, and I am joined by the Armenian superstar, Lila Karadanian, you guys. So she is a makeup artist, a influencer, a creator, a CEO, a reader, everything that she is. <laughs> I'm so excited. Welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so, I'm so excited. I here. know. It's so funny. Like, when you text someone, you're like, I, you already know them so much, right? Right. And I, I, the first time we met, years ago i feel like even though we don't talk every day we have that bond yes so i'm so excited um so this is spotlight on we kind of talk about your career how it started how it began and all that good stuff i do want to mention we are live on the chat so if you guys have any questions go ahead and send us send the questions in and i will definitely try to answer well lily will try to answer your questions <laughs> Okay, so okay. Lilith, how does one become Lilith? <laughs> oh man, you know what? It's funny that you start with that because I feel like I was makeup by Lilith for such a long time, yeah. and I to transition into like who I really am, Lilith. Yeah. Like it just it was a hard transition because that's how people would introduce me, that's yeah. how people would welcome me, and now it's just Lilith. So. I know, it, it's just my name, but yeah. at the end of the day, I just felt like, okay, I think I need to detach from makeup by Lilith. So. Because it was kind of focused more on makeup, but now it's more of influencer, mom, yeah. wife, and all that yeah. stuff. It's right? everything under the umbrella. So yeah. I felt like makeup was just kind of like, makeup by was just kind of limiting me, and I feel like I've broken out of that shell a little bit, and I've come a long way with that. So it was a big part of my life, 10, yeah. 10 15 years part of my life. But and, Yeah, but yeah. you know what? For the 15 years, you kind of build it to something that it's so non-invisible where it's everywhere so you can yeah. kind of like seamlessly make your transition to Lilith and be Lilith on its own feet yes yes you know yes I, I hope you know people are people are happy with who I am today some people still want me to stick to the makeup by Lilith because they still want to see the makeup tutorials yeah. they still want to book the bridal appointments you know but I try to balance it all out the best way I can you so. do the tutorials <laughs> though you are I do I try yeah. I try you are amazing on Instagram Thank you. you you know you go live you incorporate your family you you know you answer questions so you know mm -hmm. props to you thank you but thank I kind you. of want to rewind and okay. talk about how you first found your love for makeup because back in the day if I'm not wrong you used to work at Disney yes so how was that you went to college you were yes. like a corporate kind of woman or how how did it all begin yeah you know I thought I thought the American dream was uh, getting your degree and uh, climbing up the ladder in the corporate world yeah. until I realized um, I'm just like dreaming about beauty and blogging about beauty every spare moment I have mm -hmm. and during the day I'm in a cubicle that I'm not really happy in yeah so I realized you know what I, I have my degree I have everything that I need to protect myself mm -hmm. with security security Born you know security. yes five, oh, five. unfortunately <laughs> you know yes, yeah. some people have to you have to yeah, but yeah, lucky yeah. for me we were talking about it earlier I'm yes. Armenian I was able yes. to live under my parents roof and have their support and being being able to break away and yeah um, and, and do not pay rent own. It, yeah, it's true, you guys. Yeah. You know they don't make us pay rent, thankfully. Yeah, so we can fully like kind of go forward with a career that's not secure at first, but you're so passionate about it. Just money just comes in. Uh, exactly, you know? and and for me it was just initially it wasn't about the money. Yeah, you know, I mean it still isn't about the money. My passion comes first. Um, but you know, I think that if you want to pursue your passion, you got to think about, you know, all the reasons you love it first versus like making money. Of course, it's a living that we yeah. still have to do. No one's giving you a promotion. You got to work to climb up that ladder yeah. on your own. Um, that's why you got to work twice as hard. It's not easy. But at the same time, I just felt like that's where my happiness was to be doing something that I love to do that I don't mind doing every spare minute of my day yeah. versus a cubicle that I just well, punching. I was punching punch, the numbers. Yeah, I was financial well, analyst. So like at Disney, so well, different. Yeah, right? just to add, it's so funny. One of my Facebook followers and former clients mm -hmm. at Deluxe Media, his name is Theo. Theo oh Gluck. Oh my gosh, Theo Gluck. He yes. messaged me. He's like, I used to work with Lilith. Oh, how funny. Oh, hi, Theo. Theo. Oh my God. Theo. I don't know well, where to say hi. Theo, you can, you know, can just say hi right he, there. He, hi, Theo. He, he, he was amazing at what he did. Oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. He's been there for a very long time and one of the yes. most skilled Theo people is there. 
OG in everything. He is a director of restoration. Yes. And when I used to work at Deluxe Media years ago, he was one of our clients. So he would come yes, in. So that's how we met. Deluxe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He would restore all. He, so basically, what he would do is restore yeah, all the yeah. old animated so movies. Cool. He's so talented. Oh my gosh. Isn't that, that amazing? Weird how, what a small I haven't seen world. him in a decade. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Social media. That is awesome. Okay, so. You let's say you left Disney, right? So right. what was your first initial step? Was it like I want to open my salon, or no? You're like, let me just take some clients, or um, you know, I always thought about like I want my own place, but I just didn't have like the uh, the security to be able yeah. to do that. So I I did makeup on the side for ten years before I decided to step wow. forward and do um beauty like solely beauty. Oh my god! So ten I years. yeah, ten years. Yeah. I worked out of my parents garage Hell and yeah. uh, you know 5 a.m till like god knows 10 p.m yeah. every single weekend and i was doing my master's at the same time in business you have your master's too i do yeah. oh my god you do it so all while I, was at, <laughs> while I was at disney i thought you know this is a great opportunity to be able to do this and yeah. and then you know have my degree and climb up that corporate ladder in disney but then i had my degree woodbury by the way woodbury. shout out to yes. woodbury yes oh that's right you went to woodbury no too, i went right? to cal state la oh okay never mind yeah yeah, yeah. Um, but, but woodbury is a great school it is it's a great school and for me it was about close convenience i had two jobs yeah. so it was a great school and i'm very happy i went there some of the best educators and influential people in my life so um i decided you know what there was a point in my life I just wasn't happy yeah. uh, being there anymore. It wasn't and it wasn't the soul. company. It just wasn't exactly. Yeah. It wasn't feeding my soul. I just felt like I, I'm just such a creative person and I was doing something I thought I needed to do versus doing something I mm. wanted to do. Mm. Um, Preach. So, yes. Girl. So, you know what? <laughs> do, you, do you believe in like the power of, you know, you know, you put something out in the world, you know, the secret. You put something out in the world, yes. you get it. And I, I think I put it out there that I wasn't happy. Yeah. So I f found out there was going to be a layoff happening within Disney. Wow. And then I was like, I'm going to go. Like, I know I'm going to go. And everyone in my department, they're like, it's not our department. Like, why would you say that? I'm like, I've told a VP I'm not happy. You know, wow. I mean, I, I'm going to be the first to go. And my manager would say, don't say that. Don't say that. So long behold, out of the entire floor, I was the only one that got laid off. Wow. You manifested that. I did. That's why I you manifested, manifested it. it. You know, and, you, and, it you know, there. I was, I, I cried because it was such a change. But then I was so happy. The I relief. went home that yeah. I just, I was so relieved that I was like, someone needed to like kick me and push me so I can actually do what I want to do. Wow. Um, so that's when I decided, I think it was about eight years ago that, you know what, I, I'm, I'm, gonna leave and I'm gonna open my own place and that's when I started looking yeah and I found a small spot that was big enough for me mm -hmm. and I started teaching classes just the one Riverside day. one the right Riverside. Well, that's, yeah, that's when yeah, I first met you you did my makeup for my brother's engagement was it did I only do your makeup one time I think two times okay but I, I but remembered still, you because yeah, you have yeah. such a strong personality <laughs> and you're so smiley that I <laughs> right away remembered you when you messaged me um, but yeah it was it was, so, it was small but it was it, mm -hmm. it was like my home mm -hmm. and you know I did one day seminars and then seminars turned into courses and then it started to get really busy and then I had more artists and more stylists working there so we decided to move into a bigger location yeah. because it was just there were so many of us in there so then that's when I moved to the Ventura location yeah, yeah and which it's I've been, been about four too, years yeah. yeah it's been about four years now and um yeah um while I was teaching I would get a lot of questions from my customers so mm -hmm. my customers became the inspiration behind creating my brand wow um but the first question I would always get is you know what's the best foundation and I found myself like interviewing mm -hmm. them well what kind of skin do you have do you yeah. want full coverage light coverage yeah, are you yeah, oily yeah. or dry and it was just I had to tackle down in all the products that I would try and I was a product junkie to kind of yeah give my recommendation personal and I, testimony exactly mm -hmm. so at some point I was like it's got to be easier than that it's got to be easier like there's got to be a one-size-fits-all foundation yeah and that's when I I was inspired to create my own brand and that with, that's where I started which with my was foundations LC. yes but you know before we talk about LC I want to say you are mm -hmm. like the pioneer of makeup classes do you Thank know you. you've launched so many <laughs> careers how does that make you feel because really? you have you've I'm launched so happy yeah. you've launched a lot of careers for a lot of women maybe men makeup mm -hmm. artists do you feel like oh my god I did that do you ever feel like this internal kind of like I feel like I'm leaving something to this world like tools you know yes um 
honestly, starting from my students, mm -hmm. starting from my students who become successful and start doing great things, I follow all of them, and that's what like makes me happy. Yeah. That my God, I've I had a part in her career, you yeah. know. Um, well, whether I've inspired people to start teaching or not, um, I never really. I never really do that, to be honest with you. I don't stop, look back, like, hmm, who have I inspired? Yeah. Like, who did, who followed? Like, I yeah. never did that. For me, it was just like, what's next? I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I got to do more. It's not enough. It's not, I'm not touching enough people. I'm not inspiring enough people. I got to do it on a bigger realm, right? So working on one client at a time was yeah. not enough for me. I wanted to have an impact as a whole. So wow. I feel like my building my cosmetics brand inspired people who are beauty junkies mm -hmm. or makeup artists. Hey, I can I can start something of my own too. It's incredible. And I think that was the biggest um, part of me it, that like I'm it, thankful for. Yeah, and like you even include your family in it too. My yes. sister in law took classes with Arminet. Yeah, and she's a makeup artist yes. too. Glam by Greta. She's, follow her. She's, she's she amazing. Did, yeah, she, she did, did my face today. Yeah. Hi, Arminet. <laughs> and I found out I did her wedding makeup. Yes. So is that? I'm you, everywhere, girl. <laughs> your mom did my sister in law's mom's hair. Oh my gosh! Yeah, on her wedding. The whole family's in this. I've dragged my entire family. Actually, and I love it. My mom first dragged me in. I love it. Because she did hair for like 40 years. So come on, it's yeah. like in the blood. Yeah, like yeah. it's Armenian instilled yes, in you. Yes, exactly. So your mom was in the business. My mom was in the oh hair business, and when I told her I want to open my own studio, she was not for it oh because she was a lady in her 50s who decided to open her own salon with. Broken English, of course. doesn't know marketing, doesn't know anything. Yeah. And she thought, like, what are you doing? You know, you're at Disney, you're making money with a pen and a paper. Yeah. This is hard work, it's physical labor. Yeah. And, you know, you don't want to just work to pay rent, mm -hmm. so just be smart. And my dad was like, do it. My dad was like, do it. Like, so yeah. supportive. I was like, mom, I know marketing. I know English. You know, it's a, there's a very yeah. big gap into in our, eight, you know, the times that we did it. Oh, in. absolutely. And so I made sure that I was safe when I opened my place. I was booked a year in advance. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. With clients, with students. So oh, that, wow. that gave me the confidence. So that to, was your cushion, kind yeah, of. Yeah, exactly. Wow, Lily. So, like, yeah. your routine is crazy. Like, that's one, it of, is, yeah. Yeah, that's one of my next questions. Like... I really want to talk about Elsie and how it started, but your yeah. routine is insane. Like, I follow mm. you on Instagram. You wake up early. You drink her with lemon water. Yes. <laughs> Clearly, you're obsessed with juicing. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's, it's a new obsession of mine, for sure. Yeah. Juicing, reading. We'll talk about books, too. I love to read as oh, well. Yeah. But um, what is your daily routine like? How do you make time for everything? Because you have a family, and I'm yeah. going to have my producer pull up a picture of your beautiful family. It's actually... Oh, Aww. right there. <laughs> Awesome! My we babies. have cats. How old is Cat now? Cat is now three, and the little one's three months. Oh my God! So yeah. Cat is three, and Olivia. Olivia. She is, and that's your husband. Yes. Awesome! That's what David. a beautiful family, and her Thank husband David. You. I follow Cat too. You guys, Cat is a mega superstar. <laughs> follow her at Cat and Oli. Cat is a Cat is a character. Yeah. She next time she's coming for an interview. She is. By she the was way. supposed yeah. to come today, but it was her nap time. Yeah. So cranky next nap time, time for sure. Yeah. 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 Mommies no. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Let's talk about routine, but also I want you to dive into how you balance the wife, mother, all of that. Because, yeah. girl, I don't know how you do it. Like, yeah. I'm single with no kids, and I barely keep up. <laughs> how do you do it? How do you have time for everything? Like, that's one of my main questions. Okay, so I, I get this question a lot, and I think definitely it has it goes back to routine, like the first routine. word you use. Type A having, personality, right? Yes. Knew it. You have typing. <laughs> I have to have everything, like, just organized. Oh. I might not have it organized on paper, but it's all organized in my head, and I have to stick oh, to a routine girl. to make sure that I have time for everything, that I'm not lacking as a wife, that I'm not lacking as a mom, you know, that I'm not lacking as a business owner, and just kind of, I have to dial it all in. So I think one of my, like, most simplest advice is don't waste your day. Don't waste, I don't, I don't watch TV, and to me, like, it's just not a crucial part. And if I do, it's a leisurely activity for mm -hmm. me, and I have nothing else going on. But if I could watch TV, then I, that means I should be working on my blog. I should wow. be, you know, like, doing something in the house, or cooking, or prepping food, or just... That's huge. That, that, that simple thing of onion and of its own, I think, is like a... Is a big thing. So you don't binge watch or like watch anything. If okay. I do, if I do, yeah. I, I binge watch. If I heard there's a great show, yeah. me and my husband will binge watch it like for three days, and then I'm, it's out of my system. Yeah. You know, I love, I love being entertained, but at the same time, like my priorities are different now. What's the last so. show you binge watched? I have to ask. Oh, the last anything? show I binge, wa binge watched was probably Scandal. Sc oh my, yeah. Scandal's amazing. <laughs> I love Scandal. Yeah. yeah. I did that and. uh 
and how to get away with murder was another mm -hmm. like any of uh what is it Chandra Rhymes? yeah Chandra yeah. well well check out also um Big Little Eyes it's on HBO I heard that's amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome I heard too. that's amazing wow so no so, TV okay continue yeah <laughs> so if I do do TV it's really just late night and I'm binge watching yeah. you know okay. um I don't do it throughout the day I don't watch like average just TV shows throughout the day I just don't make time for that yeah so I know some people are like well sometimes you want to just kind of get away mm -hmm. and I do but I do that through my books so you I'd love rather to read. I love to read yeah and I know your favorite book is the seat of the soul yes right which love which I still have to read it's it's why it's do a hard you love one. it so much you know what it kind of touches areas of your mind and your heart and your soul that you didn't know you had access to wow. for me that one and a new earth from, from Eckhart Tolle. Yeah. Yeah. He's just like, for me, it's like, yeah. I want I want to be, not just inspire, but I want to like be, like, I want to change from the inside out. So Well, also the power of now. That. Yes. I and, love power And, and I know you are reading one of my favorite authors, Robert Greene. Um, Which one? I'm so oh gosh, bad with. Oh um, gosh. 48 Laws of Power. Oh, and, yes. Uh, okay. For, laws of Human Nature. Yes, yes. So I Epic read. Epic book. Epic. Yes. yes. I read a few chapters of 48 Laws of Power and I was like, this is very different than what I've normally read. Yeah. It's the opposite side of, you know, like he gives a lot of history. It's yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, I try to, I try to read different types of book to get different types of perspectives, good, bad, yeah, positive, negative. Where people are coming from mentally, the people that you surround yourself with. So, I feel like that's a little bit more like fulfilling for me than TV watching. So when that's, do you that's read it? At nights. So when you put the babies to sleep. The yes. Kids. Okay. Yes. So, so okay. my my daily routine will be wake yeah. up, drink your lemon water. Lemon water. She even squeezes it in. Yes. <laughs> and I and I do this all the time on Instagram <laughs> just to like this. remind people and, and like inspire them to do it every single day just to get your stomach activated well, and going. To add, know? I do vinegar. I do. Um, that's great I too. Apple cider vinegar. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the mother in it. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, See, apple oh. cider vinegar. I just I can't. Yeah, it's, so it's heavy it's, on It's here. hard. So good for you for doing yeah. it. No, like just the smell for me. Yeah, it's I a die. lot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so your water. So I do my lemon water and I'll make breakfast. And luckily, my husband is back is on my health kick as well oh, for good. the past month now. So we both do super healthy, just simple breakfasts that are easy just to eat and go. Mm -hmm. um, I prep my kids in the morning. I have the babysitter come, and. I go to my LC office. Okay. I work. Um, normally, my child is in school three times a week. Oh, so cat three times cat. a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are her, so, what are her hours? Is it like until it's noon? from nine to the three? So Ooh, I usually drop her off to school. Yeah. I go to work. I get as much as I do can possibly done by two thirty, and then I go pick her up, yeah. come home, and then start my cooking. And yeah. Spending time with her, maybe going out for a walk with them. I don't really like do any house chores while they're awake, and then when they're asleep, that's when I'll do it so I can spend time with them. Wow. So it just you know every day is different, you know. But if you have a routine, yeah, it just kind of helps you kind of sharpen that routine every single day. What habit have you picked up? I want to say in the last three or four years that has improved your life, a habit or behavior or insight. Um. I don't know if it's so much a habit, but I've learned to not be, I don't know, I don't take a lot of things personally, oh, so important. which is a really big part of our daily lives. Every day. So if I hear good news, if I hear bad news, good or bad, I, I grasp it, I take it, and I live through it, and I move on. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, happiness, that whatever happened is not going to be the same a week from now. Yes. It's even the sadness isn't. So I feel like that would... Three years ago, it would determine my, determine my day. Wow. Now it doesn't affect my day. That How powerful sense. is that? You've evolved so oh, yeah. much where it's oh, yeah. like, that's not going to phase me. I'm moving forward with my life. Yep, yep. exactly. Wow. And, and good or bad. Because yeah. sometimes yeah. when good things happen and the next day it doesn't, you're like miserable because a good thing just happened yesterday. Yeah. And you can't, you know. So you kind of have to take it, appreciate it, and understand it really, and just kind of move and on. And let it go. Yeah. And I think it helped me with my daily life and just who I am as an individual. And how do you deal with cultural pressures and mm -hmm. pressures moving forward? Like, we're Armenian, we're so yeah. proud of our heritage and all yeah. of that. But sometimes being busy and trying to make time for it all, how do you, like, like, is there any pressures you deal with or you had to crack through to making it to this level of your career? Um, I, I used to, yeah. um, especially before I met David. I would, I, yeah, when I, before I met my husband, I feel like I would get that pressure a lot because yeah. in the Armenian community, yes. you know, career is great, but like you need to get married, you know? All the time, with me, when are <laughs> you having like, kids? Like, yes. I'm not married yet, you guys. <laughs> right? Or, you know, when you have the first one, when does the second, second one come one. in? And you're not even, 
I didn't even deliver Olivia and they're asking, are you going to have a third one? I'm like, hold on. Yeah. Everything has its time. So you do deal with that pressure, I think. But the most important thing is I have a very supportive, understanding husband and yes. supportive, understanding parents. Because my parents saw my daily life and routine. They know how yeah. hard I work. My husband sees that. So the people who see it, yes. uh, they, they're supportive they of it. They understand so. that why would you not value yourself and love yourself yeah. to settle with someone just to marry versus thrive in your career and meet your perfect match which right. you did. And I did when I and you know, did. least expect it. Yeah. So. And um, we even talked about it earlier before how you were a happy 29. Yeah. You weren't like, so oh happy. my God, I have to get married. No, no you were no. pushing it. I was pushing my career. Yeah. yeah. I was taking That's advantage of the t- time that I do have mm-hmm. to pursue and push myself to, you know, the limits, endless limits. Um, because I was doing it all for mm-hmm. myself. I was doing it for my family. I was doing mm-hmm. it for my future. And I had no responsibilities. I didn't yeah. have a child or a yeah. husband. But, yeah. Any advice to young Armenian girls kind of working towards makeup, but also working towards a career mm-hmm. if they feel pressured into marriage or whatever it is? What would you tell them? Uh, you know, it's very hard to not let the pressure affect you. It's yeah. very hard to kind of... I'm not listening. I'm kind of doing, and people don't mean it in a bad way. They want the best for yeah, you, you know. Of course. But, um, I think that if you want to pursue makeup, if you want to pursue fashion, whatever it is, um, I'm not the I'm not the person that is believes in like the starving artist. Like, yeah. quit your day job and just yes. go do that. I had to work double time. Hustle on, I hustle had to, on the side yeah, to pay your bills. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I would take 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. clients before I would go to my job at Disney wow. and work nine to five and then come home take two more clients. So oh you have to gosh. double time to prove to your parents, to prove to your mm-hmm. significant people around you like, look, I'm going to work hard and see how, look at how it's flourishing. Mm-hmm. So once it flourishes and people see the results, then they they understand okay, what you're yeah. doing, you know? Because you're all about personal fulfillment. Yeah. And as a woman, that's so important, especially married now. Very. It's, it's like you Very. still need to feed your soul. doesn't matter if you're a wife you, doesn't matter. Or, or mom. It doesn't matter because you will feel empty if you're just kind of, if you're not doing what you want to be doing. Wow. Regardless of how much support you have, you know? Gosh, Lila, you're so amazing. Thank I mean, you. Our, our chat is like blowing up right now. No, um, good question. Milena Margarian <laughs> says, thank you for having Lilith. Oh, thank you. Um, and then I did my makeup with Lilith um, with Sam K. It was a fun photo shoot. Oh my gosh, that was so that. long ago. Yeah, oh my God, it's so wow. cool. Wow, and that's another thing I would do. I would do photo shoots on the side. Yes. When I... When I they don't have clients and for, they don't have school. <laughs> when people went as your side hustle or just yeah. like that? Yeah. Just even that, even just to do like fun projects on the side. Yeah. I'm going to pull up this other question that mm-hmm. we had. One of one of my followers had asked me right now, you guys hold up. Okay. Is late 30s too late to become a makeup artist? What advice would you have for someone like that who's looking for a career change? I really want Lila to answer. Um, it's never too late in my opinion Um, I stopped doing it only because I had so much else going on in my life makeup is still like my passion if it was if I didn't have my brand if I didn't have my family with two kids if you have the support I'm gonna start there if you have the support Mm -hmm. if you do have a family and you you do have kids it's kind of hard but Mm -hmm. if you have the support you have a mom or a babysitter watching the kids then why is it too late I have different age groups coming to my classes and people always ask like, hey, everyone wants to be a makeup artist. How do you feel about that? Well, not everyone makes it because not everyone's passion is in it. True. So if you want to become a makeup artist, in your mid to late 30s, it's all about just working towards it, mm-hmm. like really focusing and really taking advantage of social media, taking advantage Girl, of the opportunity, the free opportunity that mm-hmm. you have out there. Mm-hmm. Networking. If you just take all the right necessary steps, then I don't think people would you care how old someone is as long as they do great makeup? Absolutely not. No. So. You, you know, give me that beat and I'm out. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So as long as my selfie looks good. <laughs> that's all we care I don't about, care right? If you're Seventy. <laughs> exactly. Whether it's in your home, whether it's in a sol- salon, it doesn't yeah. matter. So. Yeah. Well, well, another question is relating to that is for someone starting out, how do you build clients? How, for a new makeup artist, how mm-hmm. does one get clients? And and what kind of advice would you? I give I, to that? I want to say start with your friends. Friends. You know, start doing your friends' makeup. Obviously, we're not charging our friends. Unless you get so busy at some yeah. point where you feel the need to. But, yeah. um, you know, start with your friends. Do your friends' makeup. Have your friends 
post their photos, tag you. That's where I started. All my yeah. clients just started tagging me like, oh, I love my makeup. Thank you, Makeup by Lilit. And that's where it kind of started like feeding into my mm -hmm. social media. And then it was networking, right? Just um, being able to do, like, just reach out to someone like, hey, I'd love to do your makeup for free. Would you mind tag me? Uh, All about tagging. It's Every about, tag is five followers. Oh my gosh, yeah. You know? Yeah, at least. It at really least. is. So, it's just, and it doesn't have to be someone big. It could be someone with 100 followers. It's 100 people. That is so true. And yeah. well, because on social media, you have a very, very strong presence. You guys, mm -hmm. she has like 1 million followers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even going to ask you about your DMs. Like, I don't oh, know how many God. DMs you get. You know, I get, I get tons <laughs> yes. and tons a day. And sometimes I'm able to, like, when I have spare time, so I'll go, go through, through it, it. And I'll just kind of try to answer as many people as I can. Um, or share as much as I can, but like I can't obviously get through all of them. But. Do you handle your social media? I do. So it's you. I do. You don't yeah. even have someone else posting no, it for you. No. Oh no, my god. It's gosh. me. I, I have a lot of um, like, um, what do you call it? I have control issues. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want privacy be, issues. No, too. not privacy. It's more like I want my language to be. In, in the photo. Your authentic voice. I want my authentic yeah. voice to be heard. And I think people will notice when, you know, I, I did try like the little photo shoots here and there. And it was just not as effective as like real time, yeah. uh, you know, presence. Yeah. Well, and social media is also a very double edged sword, right? So yes. What is, what's your aspect on that? Because I know Kat's very involved too. I know mm -hmm. you navigate her account, which yes. is amazing. Yes. Her pictures at Alfred's Coffee. <laughs> like you guys have to follow Kat um, and Ollie. She was so, so on point. It was so fun. She did better than me. Right? You're like, who's that? I took all you? day for like an outfit <laughs> shot. This this little girl had like two shots. I was like, we're done. Oh we're my done. God. <laughs> it's like, where, where did you come from? I know. She's but something. how do you navigate her page? How do you feel about like her being on social media? And also, how do you balance your own life with social media? Because you, you expose a lot, but mm -hmm. how do you do handle all that? Okay, so um, obviously I expose everything that I want to. Mm -hmm. uh, I expose things that I feel are either going to inspire you or you're going to... Mm -hmm. It's not things that like... You know, we all have issues, and if I do have an issue, I'll bring it out in a positive way on yeah. social media. Kat, I kept her away from social media the first few months of our life. I was, yeah. like, fighting it. I was yeah. fighting it. You're and then dying I, to post Yeah, though. I was like, I want to, but, like, I don't want to. Who's following me? What's happening? I was scared to kind of put her out there. Yeah. And then I realized, you know what? Social media is our future, and as long as you do it the right way, you do it tastefully. Gary V, baby. Gary V. You got to you got to kind of be ahead of the game have to and i don't know where social media will lead her but it does build a lot of um i've i've had a lot of positive um enforcements Feedback, around yeah. her yeah. yeah like people just message cats dms all the time like we look forward to her post it makes my day when i'm, I message when Kat, I'm yeah. having a bad day like i look at cats post and it makes me so happy and it's yeah. just you know you can definitely use it in a positive way and if you do it in the right way helping other moms like this is what i use these are the products just kind of being able to connect on another level and use it the right way mm -hmm. then there's no reason we should be afraid of it right we should only be oh, afraid if we feel like there's nothing we shouldn't show we're showing it anyway absolutely and i I know you're also a favor of no screen days, right? Because yes. I myself, there's yes. days like this weekend, no screen. I'm right. like, I'm turning it off. Yep. So you balance it out where it's like you give the people what they want. Yes. Because it is the future. If we don't evolve, we get, we, we're set we're, back. Exactly. We don't grow. And I don't know if you follow Gary Vee. I love I don't. Gary Vee. He's a huge, too. huge entrepreneur. You should follow him. Okay. He talks about how social media is king. If your mm -hmm. business doesn't have it right now, it's, it's not going to thrive. That's, uh, uh, number one. You Number know, one. He might suck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in Armenian, I just take said, it. It is what it is in Armenian. And you gotta take guys. it. He might suck. <laughs> well, okay. Sounds okay. like our moms. I exactly. Know, right? And it's so funny how our moms have Facebook right now. Yeah. Like they scroll down. Oh my God. My mom is on Instagram. She's what? moved up from Facebook. Yeah. No. My mom wants an Instagram. I'm like, Mom, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Not yet. No, no, no. Oh my God. She used to, she used to troll my trolls. Are you and serious? I had to teach her, like, Mom, oh, I just ignore. I don't need you to the best build. Advice. I don't need you to build on this, like, whatever they're saying. I don't need you to. I could just mm. ignore. I could delete. I could move on with my day. And by doing that for a while, I don't have trolls anymore. Best you know? advice is to ignore the trolls. Yeah. But any yeah. advice for people who deal with bullying on Instagram or social media, all the quote haters, what do you do? Uh, honestly, don't let it affect you. These people mm. don't know you. Yeah. You know, you're judged by people that don't know yeah. you. So why do you care about someone who's judging you that doesn't know you? What about someone you know, though? 
you know, at that point, you don't want that person in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, if they're going to be a negative influence in your life, if they're going to down talk everything that you're mm -hmm. doing, then why do you need that person in your life? It, in a, in a personal matter. Dropping gems, you guys. That's so true. I'm F sorry. <laughs> fulfill your life, grow it's your garden, pour it into positive stuff, and just let it flow in. Yeah, grow. yeah. And they can, they can exist there. Yes. But you don't need to bring them in your personal space. Awesome. You're so opinion. good. I yeah. love your wisdom. Thank you. you, you you're Thank awesome. You. <laughs> I'm learning yes. a lot every single day. No, no. You know, and every, we, every, we, every experience is a learning experience. We love you. The Armenian you. community loves you. Thank you. You know, our chat's booming. <laughs> One more question before we get into Elsie. Yes. Um, I wish we had three hours to talk, by uh, the we, way. We, I cannot believe We probably believe could. <laughs> we probably for could. For a coffee session. We could talk forever. Um, okay, so um, let's see. Who was it? Arina is asking, will you ever do bridal makeup again? Oh, you know, I wish, but probably not. And the problem with that is that bridal makeup, they need to book these things in advance. Okay. That was the reason I stopped doing makeup because okay. it was very hard for me to coordinate my life around clients yeah. when I had a yeah. business and kids and a husband. Like, it was just very hard for me to... My clients were my priority yeah. for the longest time, for 15 years. Wow. You know, and then 15 years. Yeah, and they were booking you a year in advance. So imagine you don't know what you have going on a year from now. You wow. have no idea what's going on a year from now. And you know, a year from now, I'd have opportunities, whether it would be for my PR agency to fly so out to true. New York and do desk side meetings, whether it's you know, my child being sick all night and me yeah. not being, you can't call in sick. Yeah, so you know, I started to get really paranoid about like letting, letting. Mm -hmm control go from yeah. my family and I just I needed instability that back. yeah yeah so luckily we have a team of amazing girls at Lilith's Makeup oh, Studio yeah. who more than half are trained by me and the ones that aren't we just all learn from each other, other. and they're all so talented so yeah. that's why I was comfortable leaving the market because I was yeah. like we have so much talent now out there and I want them to flourish you are your company you are who yeah. you hire yeah you know, exactly. I'm a big believer in that yeah so you kind of you test them out you're like okay they're amazing. she's fine just yeah. down her own feet yeah, yeah, yeah. but um so the Lilith studio no no it's called Lilith's makeup studio yes. that's right it's mm -hmm. located in Sherman Oaks right yes. okay On so Ventura get, Boulevard. yeah mm -hmm. so get your hair and makeup done yeah. microblading yes. all that good stuff <laughs> so let's talk about Elsie okay. how Elsie came about i know it has something to do with cat right and her middle name or something so actually the brand came first and then i named cat's oh. middle name Elsie because i just felt like i at that point you know, when I thought about Elsie, I was like, I like the name Elsie. Mm -hmm. And when I have a daughter, her name oh, is going to be Elsie. Such a cute so name. I just, in my head, I knew that I was going to have a child and name them after my brand because I want them to build, like, how it's their future, you know? So, yes, Kim K. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's, you gotta, you gotta you, always you think gotta about think the about later, it. you know? Branding, yeah. of course. That's why Olivia was kind of like, we had a two, three different names. And I was like, Kat and Ollie. That sounds like a brand. I was, That's it. It's staple. I was telling you know? my sister-in-law today when she was doing my makeup. I'm like, Kat and Ollie, such an amazing name. Right. I don't know, maybe clothes or something. Yeah, I don't it know. just sounded so brandy. And I was thinking about all these other names. I was like, no, it's ha it has to make sense together. Yeah. And you know, it, I, I might sound, I might be crazy, but I'm an Check. entrepreneur and I think about a lot of things for the Very future. Very strategic. Yeah. yeah, girl, you're amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So, um. When I first decided to have the brand, there was a million names that I that I thought about, and you know, at the end of the day, I was like, you know, if your brand is good, it doesn't matter. Your name could your brand name could be Pillow, yeah. And as long as you make Pillow mm -hmm. what it is that you want, like the mm -hmm. brand is, will grow. Yeah. So LC um, are my initials, right? LC for Lila Cardania, oh. <laughs> and then I looked it up. It meant in Latin to be unique. So I was like, this is it. This is this is what it's going to be called. So I. Which is your Staple Instagram bio, right? Yes. That little word. Yep, it became our slogan. <laughs> be unique, be you. You're I good. I do you my homework. You've done your homework. Seriously. <laughs> it's amazing. Awesome. Thank you. So you thought about LC and what was like your initial first step? How do I do this? Like as far oh as Oh my gosh. Crazy. I get that question a lot. Like, how do I start my own brand? And yeah. I was like, when I started, I had no idea because back then it wasn't that common to start your own brand as like a smaller person right like mm -hmm. smaller person mean compared to like nars and yeah. mac and all these bigger brands um so i googled i literally googled your best friend i swear i swear to god google i was like it. just google stuff i was like cosmetics brand in L Co cosmetics labs in la and i came across like three four wow. and i went i was like hey i want to meet with you i just called him met with him i was like okay can you show me what your capabilities are and you know you tested out what you know these labs had to offer wow. and then you 
find one that was like, hey, you know, I connected with this lab. Yeah. I like the stuff that they create. I b- believe in what they believe you in. You took your time. Yeah, I took my time. It took two years to launch uh, the first product. Two years. Yeah. It t- actually, it took a year to plan. Yeah. And by the time it launches, it takes two years. Your products are very detailed and you yes. can tell like they, it's... Won't ask them. I love how I'm talking in Armenian right now. <laughs> I'm sure they'll understand. Word, I'm sure they'll understand. Like, you, I can tell you take a lot of time and yeah. energy on your products. Like, on my face today, my sister-in-law, she used the minimal, the minimalist oh, palette. Nice. And the glow thing. The, the glow enhancer. Yeah, yeah, the glow enhancer. Good job, Greta. Right? <laughs> so, every product takes forever, right? Yeah. And I know we're launching those on Wednesday. Yay. And I know my producer will pu- pull it up right now, right over there. There it is. Perfect. So, let's talk about what that is mm-hmm. maybe you can do a cute little demo yeah, on me or you on me yeah little... so what's launching on wednesday let's let's tell so all on our wednesday um we are launching our setting powders they come in four shades yes and when i say four shades they're very universal shades meaning there's a mixture of colors which and it's so sheer that you don't, you're not gonna have crazy oh. coverage. So you just want a sheer glow of color, if that makes sense. Yeah. And you set in your makeup with it, so that way, with translucent powder all over your face, you're not looking so matte. You're still setting in your face with powder. Oh. It has a little bit of a color, has a little bit of a glow, and you can use different parts of the powder. So if you wanted to highlight underneath your cheekbones a little bit, just softly, and then you can contour a little bit. Just you use different parts of it, but you can just kind of mix it together. Also comes with That's- a little puff, so you can retouch throughout your day without wow. getting cakey because it's not a foundation powder it's just like a sheer setting powder and it gives the most natural beautiful glow i can try it on you yeah if you want. yeah do we'll it do, i'll come a little i think you're gonna be I, medium I, I know we're mic'd up but i'm gonna like well, scooch I'll, in scooch in i know my producer's okay. gonna get mad but I'm okay gonna, i'm gonna just like do, do reach it. over okay <laughs> reach over. i'm just you're okay? Yeah, okay. okay. Thanks, JLo. I'm just trying to like move. So I'm just okay. going to take a fluffy brush. Okay. I'm just going to swirl into all the shades. Yes. And then what you're just going to do is you're really just oh my going God, to pat. So Doesn't it smell like good? Like macchiato or something. Yeah. Oh. It smells amazing. Oh, I think And then you just, now. you retouch, oh. but it never, you know, sometimes with powder, when you, the more you retouch, yeah. the cake here it gets throughout the day. But this doesn't do this that. This doesn't do that because it's so sheer. It just mattifies it, but it doesn't make you look matte, Ooh, if that makes sense. Camera ready. Yay. You really mean universal when you I mean do. universal. I do. You know what? I With my brand, it's all about simplifying makeup because there's so much out there. If I'm confused, you better believe consumers are confused. So, um, you know, it's really important to be able to create tools that I would use as an on artist. Yourself, yeah. That I would use on myself, that I would use as an artist, I would use in my kit. But it's wow. so easy for you to pick it up and not wonder, well, what color? Color am I? You're either light, medium, tan, or dark. Here's a universal bronzer, or bronzer, oh or powder gosh. that you can just kind of set How in your skin with. Good? You look beautiful. Perfect. It just looks so healthy. It's just a healthy glow, and you can use it on its own over primer just to have like a light healthy glow throughout the day that just evens out your skin texture and do you ask your fans or family or anyone before creating a product Mm -hmm. or it's like this is what i want this is what i'm doing leave me alone um both i listen to my fans and they're like we need you to come out with this and we need you to come i'm listening to all of them may not be responding but i'm listening to all of them i'm 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 incorporating all of their opinions and their thoughts and i know what with with my customers i knew what they were confused with yeah. So I knew their you confusion knew. with like, okay, um, I, I have this contour kit. I was like, oh, how do you like it? I don't really know what to do with it yet, so I haven't touched it. It's yeah. been a month I have had it. I'm like, wow. okay, people are really confused about it. Oh, I'm using this bronzer. Mm-hmm. Oh, what do you think? Um, I think it's like way too dark for your skin tone, you know? So it was just like finding four different, creating four different bronzers to make sure it's easier for people to like pick their color, choose their color. It's very good that you're very open and positive to constructive criticism. Absolutely. That's because, how you have to yeah, be. Especially yeah. Especially as a CEO, business owner, mm-hmm. you have to listen to them whether they like it or not. Right. And, and you know, you just like you have trolls for your, as an influencer, yeah. you're going to have it for your brand. And the people who follow us are like our best, they're, they're the best yes. customers, you know, and they, they know what, they know what we're creating before we even create it. Like that's how well they've, follow the brand and they know what to expect from us and the people that don't like you know trend mood will post a mm-hmm. lot of cosmetics from different companies whoever's launching those are the people that don't follow us so if they don't understand they're like i don't understand this pattern and why wow. would she you know but at the same time that's that's the criticism yeah. i don't care for yeah i i care for the criticism of the people who are open to the idea of trying something new or are yeah. you know a pre or respect the brand or respect me as an artist and what you're doing is solving a problem with your business yes. and that's what every yeah. business 
business girl status. Yeah. It says when yeah. you need to open a business, whatever it is, make sure you're solving, solving a, a problem. problem. It's simple. It's universal for exactly. moms, for wives, single people, whatever you are. Yep. It fits for all of the above. Right. Wow. Exactly. Just that to simplify is, yeah. it. But like, you know, I, I, the, the description with my brand is, you know, um, creating products for the average consumer with mm-hmm. a pro artist in mind. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we recently launched with Ulta last yes, month. Yes, Thank you. We're so excited. Online. Online only. Okay, we'll soon and store, you know. We'll see. Yeah, yeah hopefully. Manifesting we'll see. it. Yeah. <laughs> Manifesting it. Right? And, you know, we we got two responses that said, oh, my God, I'm so offended. What does she mean, the average consumer? And I'm like, really? You just didn't read the rest of the sentence that said, with a pro artist in mind. Yes. Meaning any non makeup artist yeah to be able to like me apply. I'm like not a makeup, a makeup artist, artist so that's I can do what it. I meant on oh, the average consumer but again you kind of take the credit you take the good with the bad yeah so it's online yes. at Ulta yes. and it's at lc.com yes. which is incredible lccosmetics.com lccosmetics.com yeah. I cannot wait for the future of LC thank you, you are... we have a lot of amazing yeah, things coming out yeah. and you know like I said I'm constantly inspired by the people, people. who are following us and supporting us and we're, we're listening to you all. <laughs> we are listening, and I'm actually listening to you guys right now. And to answer just a few more questions, um, mm-hmm. your makeup, your favorite makeup moment, or your favorite makeup artist, how would you respond to that? Ooh, um, I'd have to say my favorite makeup artist is probably Mario for sure. Oh he God, just has a touch. So it, it's a touch. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. um, anybody can replicate it, but it's just mm-hmm. he has a special touch. So I really admire him, and he's been in the industry as long as I have. So wow. I admired him back then, back before day. so many makeup artists came along. So I still, I still stick stand strong by him. Awesome. And yeah. your favorite makeup moment it can Ooh. be anything. You know, I've done a lot of amazing bridal. Oh, bridal. Yeah. yeah. I, I, bridal was my thing. I just, I loved doing bridal makeup because I loved the way I made them feel yeah, about their, their day. Their special so, day. Yeah. So I can't even pinpoint one because I've had a lot of amazing brides where just they leave happy, I'm happy, and it's just beautiful moments. Awesome. And your favorite three makeup products that you have in your bag right now or something you can't live with, live without? That's a hard okay. one too. Okay, that you is have a, a lot of stuff. That, well, <laughs> for my makeup bag, it's tricky because I'd say if you take anything with you, take a mascara. Like okay. that's my thing. Mascara, um, mascara, and uh, um, a lip balm that mm. you know is coming soon. So what? Yeah, did we just I get just an LC exclusive? You did, we you got did. an exclusive. No one knows about that. Extra, we just, extra. <laughs> we just plugged it into our line this year. I love it. Yes. I love it. I use Maybelline right now, the uh-huh. baby lips. Oh, I love baby lips. So amazing. do Elsie and I'll start buying Elsie. Okay. <laughs> it's it's going to be, it's a treatment and a lip balm. So oh, it's an amazing product. So I feel like yay. these two things are essential for our bag and a setting powder that you can retouch throughout the day when you get shiny. So I feel like I would, I would definitely go with those three if okay. there's anything in your makeup bag. You think of everything. I try. I that, think of things that like, what do I need? You yeah, know, I, I personally, use person, like, what do I need? What is what do people around me need? I listen to my sisters. I listen to, uh, you know, I have a lot of artists at the studio, so they give mm-hmm. me a lot. Of, hey, look, you should do this because I feel like with clients we can't find a product that does this. And right. I take that. Personal, and I run I'm with telling it. you, personal yeah. testimony just yeah. wins. What 100%. do you want as a human? Yes. Even like with Instagram, where when we post things, sometimes when you read a caption, you're like, okay, this makes no sense. Let's make it more simpler for the follower to read. I think exactly. it's the same with building products uh, absolutely wow we try to we try to simplify even the the way you use it you know like shimmer shadows not everybody knows to wet their brush or use a cream mm-hmm. base so you know i came out with the jewels which you can use with your finger and it goes on without a base so it's just simplifying the the application of it for everybody and what about uh makeup advice for young girls maybe cat or a little bit older or mm-hmm. maybe like preteen if they really want to play with makeup what's your mm-hmm. advice for younger girls out there you know i feel like definitely cats a little too young <laughs> but i do have nieces who are uh 15 and 13 natalie and nicolette they're gonna oh, be really excited i just cute. said their name Yay. and you know my my niece is going through that right now she's trying to get into makeup and i i realize and i she learned is? that she is she, she All loves the makeup family, you guys yeah. she loves makeup and i think you know my my advice to her is always just just go minimal because mm-hmm. a little what a little bit goes a long way for someone who's never worn makeup before of course so you don't need to do what we do you already you know you're beautiful as is and it's just if you want to put on some mascara to make your eyes look bigger and put on a lip balm or a lip gloss i think you know just starting simple so that you doesn't look like you grew up overnight 
That is so true. Yeah. Kind of like staying in your age zone, making yeah. like baby steps. Yeah, and it's okay to do things, but take baby steps. And also yeah. thinking about your skin too, because you know, skincare oh is yeah. so important. So important. Uh, I mean, what's your nighttime routine like? Ooh, like, tell girl, me. Girl. Your time? I mean, not really. <laughs> <but> like, <laughs> I'll Sorry. give you the download later. Give me a minute. No, I do. I'm, I'm very active. Off. I'm very active on my IG stories with like yes. a lot of my skincare, yes. and my my blog will be up and running soon too. And then oh, I'll God. break it down on there. I feel like it's constantly changing, um, but I definitely have a routine every night. You want to do your serums, your oils, your mm-hmm. night creams, your eye creams, and I'm just very consistent with skincare. And the Get older I'm getting, the older I'm getting, the more I'm like, oh man, I wish I started this when I was 20. But you know, I also have an Armenian mom who like. Yeah. I used your glow enhancer today. Look at Jones. me, you know. And she's happy that she used it one day. And I'm like, mom, that, you gotta use it every day because it has like anti aging benefits and consistency. You know, she thinks her wrinkles went away overnight. She believes it because I made it. You know. Oh my god! And that's what I love about you. You really incorporate the family. I do. It's the family I business, do. whether it's like uncles, you know, brother in laws, yeah. or whatever that yeah. it is. I just I love that. Yeah. Like you thrive together. We do. Definitely. Oh my god! And you know, I got all my sisters involved in makeup, yes. and now they're talented artists themselves and yeah. you know it's it's nice to like be able to create something that is mm-hmm. a future for all of us really so one other person said you should start a podcast oh have you okay. ever thought about that i have thought about that i i get that a lot actually because i talk a lot yeah I'll get, i get this good, from my yeah. husband and my younger yeah. sister Armina all the time they're just like <laughs> You talk so much. I'm like, I don't. I barely talk. It's incredible. But then, I love it. But then I don't stop talking when I start. And I feel like I have so much to say all the time that I almost want to start a podcast. Do but it. then I'm like, do people care about another podcast? So that's one thing that maybe, maybe later. No, it's you know? the same thing if someone wants to start makeup. Right? Yeah, yeah. People... I think it's just so out of my yeah, realm yeah. that I'm just like, do I go there? You know? And maybe. Will, will you be at If there's Beauty a demand. Con? If there's a demand, yeah. Ooh, Beauty um, Con. So I will be at BeautyCon. Um, Yay! It's kind of under the covers right now, but I will be there with Ulta. Awesome. And um, I, Elsie will be there as well. So I'm very excited. This is the first time Elsie's going to be there. It's the first time I'm going to be there. So That's huge. Yeah, I'm really excited about it, yeah. Do you, what do you, where do you see Elsie going in five years? Like, I know you take it day by day, yeah. you live in the moment, all yeah. that good stuff. What, like, what's your dream to manifest for um, Elsie? I really want Elsie to be... Uh, distributed more globally globally yeah awesome. i think that's our biggest uh problem right now it's the it's the lack of being able to you know distribute everywhere and make sure that it's you know done the right way, right way. yeah you know make sure it's the right stores the right partners um mm-hmm. the legalities of everything it's just it's a it's a challenging task mm-hmm. so i hope within five years we can be you know distributed global because we don't ship glo- globally you don't u.s and yeah so even though we have yeah. a huge fan base across yeah, the world they yeah. can't get it so that's our biggest challenge right well, now well shark tank we're coming for hey. you <laughs> <laughs> not a bad idea shark tank's huge okay you know you never i've know. had a few friends go to Shark Tank and it was yeah. actually great great branding you, you have the numbers branding. I'm sure you'll figure it out whatever you do I'll but s- like I'm gonna take that home with me I'm gonna sleep with that yeah do your homework yeah. and apply and yeah. let's get it going okay, okay. but um, yeah I think LC globally will thrive and, and as Thank fans you. as clients we will do all our best to keep Thank feeding you. it and growing it honestly and like my fans have been like yeah. the, num- the best supporters I can ever ask for they're just they they awesome. they inspire me to continue to grow and without them I wouldn't even have the brand so yeah. I'm very appreciative of my followers there wow seriously. before my last question mm-hmm. any message to your fans and friends watching or your supporters oh my gosh my supporters I don't even know where to start because I'm just so thankful and I don't even know how to I don't yeah. even know how to repay that you Lipstick know what for I mean everyone. right Oprah. I mean <laughs> beauty beauty con will have a lot of goodies okay I. Listen, Oprah is my like my yeah. my my dream, dream my goal person. person. Oh my god, she is just like the most inspirational person ever. She does so much, so it makes you think like, why can't yeah. I do more? Watch Super Soul Sunday. I'm sure you do. Sometimes. I do. Yeah, I course. listen to the podcast good, for good. Super Soul too. Sunday, yeah, Super yeah, yeah, Soul yeah. Conversations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's everything. Oh. So, um, you know, I, I say that you know, so leaving off on that note, just constantly support, surround yourself with influential, supportive positive people and things whether it be tv whether it be podcasts whether it be your friends whether it be family whether it be social media Mm -hmm. and you know follow people that inspire you don't follow people that like oh god i wish i could do that and makes you miserable and you know throughout your day 
find people that inspire you and be and be that person be mm -hmm. just as much of an inspiration to the people around you because they want to be around positive people be an example to, yeah. to people yeah. and act like how you would want someone exactly. to treat you and you know satisfy your soul and yep. work on yourself yep. uh, wow you're so inspirational so, yeah, thank you oh my you're, gosh you're such a sweetheart and these are amazing questions and you're, I feel like so we understand awesome. each other because we're, we read a yeah. lot of similar books yes. and I think that makes a really big difference because you read you open your mind and you understand there's different ways of looking at life yes and yes. you truly understand to live your life for yourself yes okay we have to wrap up ah, okay. last question yes if you had a choice to have your own billboard on sunset avenue what message would it say can't oh, be it my gosh. can't be a commercial can't be an ad what would it say on that billboard elevate yourself i think Oof. that would be the core of everything that i do elevate whether it be yourself. cosmetics whether it be for my child whether it be for me whether it just elevate yourself and always try to be a better person. Evolve and grow. Evolve and grow. That's awesome. Evolve and grow. I like that. And where can everyone find you on Instagram, social media? I am pretty much everywhere. <laughs> there is social media. So uh, Lila Cardanian, mm -hmm. my name, last name. And uh, I'm not as active on Twitter as I'd like to be. We were just talking about we talk that. About it's about that. Just, it's Sorry, hard. Twitter. We're getting there. It's I'm hard. I'm more visual <laughs> than this, you know. Yeah. We're getting there, Twitter. I'm What's trying. every three months, she I'm says. trying. But I'm everywhere. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Instagram. Um, I'm not Snapchat. Gonna... You were on Snapchat. I was. I, I'm not as active on Snapchat mm. as much either. I feel like everyone on Snapchat is following me on Instagram. You know, that's where the balance comes in. Yeah. I kind of have to pick where I'm yeah. most active in. Yeah. I think IG stories is like I'm able to connect most in that way. So that's where I'm at. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so thank much. You. For, thank you. for having for, me. you know, coming to the studio and bringing your amazing sister. And then the compact launches on Wednesday. Yes. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And we would love to have you back for thank future you. I'd products. Thank you. love to. Well, you're going to bring Kat into. I am. I have yes, to bring Kat next yes. time. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. She'd and love that. Yes. Please, with her, with the headphones. I will <laughs> die for sure. And you guys can follow me on Instagram at Louisa Sharmatian and on Twitter at Lou Sharmatian. I'm also on Facebook. Facebook. And until then, we will see you next time, you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching. And thank Our you. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.